Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and today I'm going to show you how you can take your images to the next level by adding sun flares. All right, let's do it. Okay, so how do we get from here to here? First off, we're going to start off by adding a preset to our image just to save the editing time. We could go through and one by one adjust our exposure, add some contrast, uh, head down to our hue and maybe make the oranges a little bit more red, warm up those yellows, desaturate our yellows and greens a little bit, maybe add a little bit more contrast in the blacks and the whites. Something like that, warm it up just a little bit. Or we can go over to our signature edits presets and I'm just going to click number two, one click and we're done. Now, adding the sun flare is our next task. For images that just need a little bit extra pop, this can be an awesome way to direct your eyes, add some interest to the image, and just make it feel a little bit more vibrant. So first things first, we're going to go to our radial filters. And if you have a signature edits preset pack, that comes uh, with this collection of base adjustment layers and brushes. So we can actually go down here, select Sun Flare, or select Sun Flare Subtle, and by hitting the apostrophe sign, invert it, and we've got our Sun Flare, we just move it wherever we need it to be. But if I want to make it from scratch, here's what you do. Go up to any of these guys, we're just going to reset and make one from zero. First things first, we're going to lower the contrast on this brush and we're going to make our pretend sun flare here. We're going to lower the contrast because that's what sun flare does. When it hits your lens, the lens loses contrast because that light is coming through the elements and refracting around. Then we're going to add a little exposure because sun flares tend to be bright. We're going to up our highlights a little bit and take our clarity down because as well as contrast, we're going to lose some clarity with a real sun flare. And that's what we want to do is basically trick the viewer into thinking this is real, right? Maybe add a little bit of haze there. Get rid of a tiny bit of saturation. And then I like to take and pretend it's a sunset where the sun is nice and warm. We're going to take our temperature up, maybe add a little bit of magenta tint. And just like that, we've got a pretty quick and easy sun flare. So let's just dial this in a little bit. I actually like to have a little bit of contrast still in my flare, even though that's not entirely accurate. I just think it looks a little better. We're going to take our feather, we're going to move it all the way up to 100 because we want it to be as subtle as possible. See how big I've made this thing? I'm actually not going to have it like this with the center being inside the image. I'm going to have the center right off so that it's just trailing out onto the mountains. And just like that, we've got our sun flare. We've gone from this to this. Looks pretty cool, hey? All right, so let's save this as a preset now. All I have to do is go up to effect, click that, go down here to save current settings as preset, and we're going to go sun flare tutorial. Great. Now I can apply that to different images just by selecting that little preset and drag and drop. And that's one thing that will take your photos, your editing time down a ton is by creating presets. So I definitely recommend doing that or by buying one of the packs that we have. So let's talk about sun flares a little more. I've put it over on this side, and that's really important because if I put it over here in the shadow side of the image, it's just going to feel unnatural. And the reason for that is because the sun is already here in the image. Sun flares work best when you can actually see the sun and you're emphasizing, kind of bringing out what's already there, rather than trying to invent a sun off to the side where there is none. Because now subconsciously your brain's like, what's going on? Where is the sun? Is it here or is it over here? So that's just one thing to keep in mind when doing sun flares. Less is more and always follow the direction of the light. Let's add sun flare to another image. So I've got this image here and we're just going to reset it. Again, I'm going to use a skin signature edits preset. Bring the exposure down. And the image is a little blasé because we've got this girl here, but she's not facing us. So there's not much to look at. It's either her hair or kind of blurred out bushes. But if we add a little bit of sun flare, we can add some interest to the image. So let's go down and we're going to grab our sun flare tutorial preset. We're going to drag it out. And again, by hitting apostrophe, we invert the mask that we've just created and put it over here. Why am I putting it over here? Because the light that is hitting her is coming from over here to begin with. The shadows are going this way. So we want to put the sun in the same place as the sun would be if it were actually in the shot. Now this doesn't look super natural off the bat. I'm going to take my saturation down a little bit. 
maybe my temperature a little and brighten things up just a little. You kind of have to adjust this photo by photo. It's never going to work perfectly just by dragging it in. It's the subtle changes just so that it looks natural and you don't really know it's there. You just feel it. You feel it if you take it away. So I'm liking that. Let's go a little bit more just for kicks. You don't really notice a huge change until you actually take it away. So let's say that I were to delete this. We went from here to here. That's quite a bit. So that's how you add sun flare to your images. And we're going to look at one image or images that you should not add sun flare to. Sun flare works great with images that have sunshine in them or that have some kind of directional light. What they don't really do well in is when you take an image that has no sun. So here we've got really dense, thick cloud cover. The light is super soft. And if I were to try and add a sun flare, let's say over here, it's just going to look wrong, not only because it's so warm and the image is cold, but because we know kind of intuitively, our brain knows this is not natural. There shouldn't be a sun out because the sun is being covered by these clouds. It just feels wrong. So that's one thing. You can add sun flare to certain images, but it's not going to work with everything. So just experiment for yourself, find out what you like, and I hope this really helps you take your images to the next level and add some extra interest to your shots. So if you want to download these presets today, you can do that. Head to SignatureEdits.com, and for a limited time, they are available for free. So the first 100 people to get to them are going to get a free download. Otherwise, you can purchase them. If this video was helpful for you, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, if this video was helpful for you, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.